Okay guys, today we're going to go over exploring a topic and that just means I'm going to show you how to kind of figure out uh, what kind of research topic you want to look at, um, how you should approach kind of further diving into it, and kind of different outlines you can do to uh, figure out what kind of um, areas you want to investigate for it or what piece of evidence you want to use. Alright, so the first thing you do before you can even explore a topic is try to uh, find one. And so there's a bunch of different ways for doing this, and here are just a couple of steps. So to start, we have the idea of brainstorming out loud. You can ask your friends, your parents, your teachers, or librarians for ideas, and you can talk about uh, different kind of topics that might interest you. We can move on to think about class readings and class discussions. So if there's anything in school that you're learning that you find really interesting and you want to kind of further um, explore that as a topic, you can start there. Um, watching the news is another place to get kind of the general topics for everything. So even just watching TV, you can find a bunch of interesting stuff. Um, yeah, browsing headlines from newspapers and magazines, you'll get the same stuff that you did from TV. You'll get a bunch of cool um, kind of different information. Um, you can browse, yeah, you can browse reference uh, shelves of the library. So you can just go look at different books and they'll all have a wide range of information that could possibly interest you. Um, yeah, and you can even, websites is another good place, um, just go online, it can look up hot topics or controversial issues, and you'll find a bunch of different interesting topics that you can uh, further explore. If we continue on um, trying to kind of find your own topic, we also have these options of, um, in addition to brainstorming, we can have mapping, so you can kind of write your main subject area or your subject or topic that you're interested in on the, in the middle of a piece of paper and have it branch out with different um, kind of ideas that are related to it that you can use in your paper. Um, we have free writing, which is just kind of let your mind kind of just do its own thing on a piece of paper. You kind of just write out what you know about a topic. Um, you don't worry about kind of grammar or anything and you kind of just put down all the information you have about it and then you can kind of pick it apart and decide what you really want to focus on. Um, you got questioning which is kind of uh, just an easy one. You just kind of ask all the different things about the topic that you're trying to find or that you want to look at. Um, interviewing is another good one so you can just um, kind of either talk to yourself or talk to somebody um, and kind of just work through all the information you have and maybe try to find a topic from that. And then we just have researching and gathering information, which is uh, already mentioned. All right, so here we just have a general outline showing how to kind of explore certain areas. And the way it does it is it has potential areas of investigation kind of divvied up into three different categories or three different slots. And so the first thing it's kind of asking you to do is say, in a few words, describe what you would like to know more about within the topic. So this is kind of just the first way you can explore something is just look at a broad general topic and try to decide what do you want to know from it do you want to learn how like something's made or do you want to learn how it's used stuff like that um moving if you so once you get a kind of a, a general idea of what you want out of a topic do you then go to explore or explain why you're interested in this so the best way to explain or further explore a topic is to kind of explain your own personal interest it, interest in it and um Try to decide why you want to prevent this, present this information to other people. Uh, moving further down, we have um, express your potential area of investigation as a question or problem. So can you um, pose your kind of topic of, uh, topic of choice in a question? And is there any way you can answer that question? So here we have a filled-in version of that previous model with... Um, uh, focus mostly on water. So this student uh, wanted to find more more information about hidden water and why we use so much of it to produce food and whether we are searching for ways to produce food using less water. So that's just a perfect example of describing an area within a topic that someone wants to look at. Um, so he further explains why he's interested in that topic by talking about how after looking at the huge amount of water needed to produce and grow food, I'm very interested in finding ways to use less water to produce food, and I know we must use some water, but I wonder if scientists are finding new ways to produce quality products while using less water. So he, he uh, explains why he's interested in the topic, and then he poses uh, a question about it. Um, moving further down, he uh, expresses his uh, area investigation as a question. So he says, what food production practices 
would we have to get rid of and develop in order to reduce the amount of water spent producing our food? So he poses his own question about his topic that he's personally interested in. And I think the structure of this investigation kind of um, outline is very useful when you're trying to explore a new um, topic. Okay, guys, so that's what I have for you on exploring a topic. Um, I think it'll be pretty useful for you guys whenever you do a research topic to try and use some of these tools that I have here. And yeah, uh, see you in the next video.